So first you would get a piece of blank white paper. Fold it in half. Then we're gonna fold this half into half. I'm gonna use a black marker, but I want you boys and girls to use a pencil. Now on the fold, you're going to draw a line down the fold, going down, and the fold that goes to the side. Then number your boxes. This is box number one, box number two, box three, and box four. So in box number one, draw a round circle, a big, large round circle. Boys and girls, tell me how to spell circle. Capital C I R C L E. Circle. In box number two, I want you to draw another large circle. This circle, we're going to shade it, so shade the side of it. That shading will give it some body. Do you know what this is called now? What shape is this? Did you say sphere? You're correct! And how do we spell sphere, boys and girls? Capital S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. Sphere. Like a ball is a sphere. Boys and girls, now in box number three, I want you to draw a square. A square has four equal sides, so try to do your best to get four equal sides here. And how do we spell square, boys and girls? Capital S Q U A R E, square. Now we're gonna make some magic happen. I want you to draw another square over here, keep it toward the top, and it has to be four equal sides. The square has four equal sides. Now, I want you to draw another square. Let's start right about here. Connecting to this square. See the two squares? Here's one square and here's the other square. Over here at this corner, I want to make a dot there. A little black dot there. Put your pencil on that dot and draw a line from that corner to this corner. Now we go to that back corner here. Put a dot on that corner. Put your pencil on it. Draw a line from that dot to this corner. Now let's go back to this corner back here. Make a dot there. Put your pencil on that dot and draw a line from that corner to this corner. And the back corner here, put your pencil on that dot and draw a line from that corner to this corner. We connected all the corners. We have made what shape? A cube, correct. How do you spell cube? Capital C-U-B-E, cube. We have made four shapes. Number one is a? Circle, yes. Number two, sphere. Number three, square. And number four, a cube. Now I want you to turn your paper to the back side. All right, boys and girls, you turned your paper over and you drew your lines on your fold again. Then we're gonna number these boxes. Remember on the other side it was four. This is gonna be box five, six, seven, and eight. Let's start in box number five. I want you to draw a rectangle. Rectangle has two equal sides. There's the rectangle. And how do we spell rectangle? Capital R E C T a N G L E Rectangle Boys and girls, now I want you to go to box number six. 
I want you to draw another rectangle over here. A little higher up. Then we're going to draw a rectangle. Connecting it below the other rectangle. Here's the first rectangle and the second rectangle. Now I want you to go to this top corner here, put the dot, put your pencil in the dot and connect from that corner to the corner in front. Go to this back corner, put a dot on it, put your pencil down, draw a line from that corner to the corner in front. Let's go to this back corner here. Put your pencil on the dot, connect it with the corner here. Now the last corner in the back. Put your pencil on the dot and connect it with this front corner. Do you know the name of this shape? If you said rectangular prism, you are correct. Let's spell it. Now I want you to be writing as we spell. Capital R E C T A N G U L A R Rectangular Prism Capital P R I S M Isn't this great fun boys and girls? Go to box number seven. I want you now to draw a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Not necessarily equal, but we're going to draw a triangle here that, that the sides do look kind of equal here. How do we spell triangle? Capital T R I A N G L E. Triangle. We're going to make some magic happen on the next one. Let's go to box eight. Draw a triangle again. Over here. We are going to draw a second triangle. I'm going to go like that. Have your line end up there a little ways and then draw the line down to connect on this corner. Now up here at the top, make a dot. Now I want you to make dash line, a dash line going straight down the bottom to almost the center here. It's right there. See where I put that little dot? Now from that dot, I want you to draw a line from that dot to this corner. Go back to the dot and draw a line from that dot to this corner. What shape do we have here? We have a pyramid. Boys and girls, how do you spell pyramid? Capital P Y R A M I D. Pyramid. And a pyramid has another shape on the bottom. And this shape, mine isn't you know exactly perfect because I'm doing it freehand, but that should be a square. A pyramid is built with triangles and a square. The base of it is a square. So I hope you've had a great time with me drawing the different shapes, which is called geometry. Have fun. Classroom management tips. Number one, use drawings as a motivational tool. Draw geometric shapes when you are losing control of your class. Tell them when they show you respect and do their work, you will do a drawing lesson with them later. Number two, have students color the drawings as a reward for good behavior or good effort on an assignment. Number three, have students draw illustrations with you about what you are teaching. Watch the children focus. Here is a geometry lesson in my SBC Revitalized Math book. The book also includes a DVD which demonstrates how to teach the lesson or the children can do the lesson with the DVD and I am their teacher. Also, there is a geometry test. Please subscribe for upcoming tips or leave a comment. Good luck.